I've had numerous requests to talk about inline hyphen block, and of course that is one of the values that you can set the display property to. And people want to know what the difference is between the inline hyphen block and the difference between just regular inline and regular block. So what I've done here is I've created three separate pages that contain initially at least exactly the same code. You can see we're setting it initially to inline all three of these and then eventually we'll flip these, but for now we're just gonna keep them all the same and we're using the same exact text. So we've set up a span. Now remember, a span is a true inline element. That is, we have no height and we have no width. We get none of that with an inline element. Even though I've set it to here, you can see that it's ignored. We don't have any height here because this is a true inline element, a span. Our span is right here. And you'll remember it will expand out to the width and height of the text, in this case, text to read of. So we'll simply cover that area. It will ignore any height or even width. If we put a width in here, that would be ignored as well. So now what we're gonna do is flip this to block down here. And let's see what happens. And we'll hit refresh. And there you can see, now this is a block element. Did you see what happened here? We got a new line, because remember, block elements go top down, not side by side by side. So we get a line break, and it created a line break right after more, right? Because the span element has now been converted to a block element, so it gets its own complete line all by itself. You'll notice now that the height property that we put in here is now recognized. The browser recognizes it because it's a block element, and it also expanded to the entire width of the page. Now, if we put a width of 50 pixels in here, it would just cut it off at 50 pixels. Now let's set this page to inline hyphen block and we'll see what happens. And we'll hit refresh and take a look what happened here. It's kind of a best of both worlds. I like to think of this as a hybrid. It's kind of half inline and half block. You'll notice that we didn't get a new line break like we did when we set this to pure block. So that is acting more like an inline, but it did recognize the height. So we did get that 50 pixels of height. So that's what an inline block is. It's just half and half. It has some characteristics of an inline and it has some characteristics of a block. It's not totally a block. It's not totally an inline. In other words, it's not totally a block because we didn't get a new line break as we did down here with a pure block setting. But it's not pure inline either in that it's obeying our height property, which we set to 50 pixels. Now you could also put a width in here and it would also pay attention to that as well. So that's really what the inline block is. It does a little bit of inline and it does a little bit of block. So again, it's kind of a best of both worlds. We don't get a new line break, which of course is a classic inline. Remember, it's side by side by side. We don't get a new line break like we do with a block. But this value does actually recognize our height that we set which is 50 pixels. So that's how it works. Okay, see you guys in the next video.